Good morning guys, as you can see, I'm missing a battery. Well, this battery that's out of the bay here is now over here. And I've had an issue with it um, going into alarm. And so the tech support, instead of having me ship this back to them, you know, it's a 100 pound battery, which I, I, I kind of am grateful they're having me check this. Because I can, I know how to do it. But anyway, I just want to show you guys. I mean, there's no power in it. The batteries are completely dead. It's totally drained. Um, so we're going to open up this case, and they want me to look at the um, battery temperature um, um, wires and make sure that they're plugged in and attached to the batteries. Because basically it's saying that the batteries are at minus 40 Celsius, which should be frozen. Um, so they're saying there seems like something might be wrong with the wiring harness of the... Um, battery temperature uh, sensors. So we're going to open this up, which it looks like we're just going to pop these screws out, pull the cover off, and then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, I got the case off, which is not that hard, just a bunch of screws. Got the case off. This is what the brain of it looks like, the BMS. Doesn't smell smoky or nothing like that. That's good. But um, I'm guessing these must be the four um, Temperature sensor plugins, I guess. And it said that T1 was the, the first one, so looks like those are going underneath this thing. Alright, I forgot how to get that open. Alright, so I'm looking at this. I'm guessing these little wires are telling you the voltage of each cell, but I'm thinking this little wire here it's on that one it's on it's only on that's on this one I'm thinking that's the four banks for the temperature sensors and I don't know how you would pop those off to get to those so anyway while I was dicking around in here I was watching looking at wires on this board and this right here this bar right here I pushed on it and it actually clicked in so I'm thinking maybe it wasn't pushed in all the way maybe so I'm gonna guess I'm gonna put it back together because I don't see anything seriously I mean I'm not a professional at this at all but I don't see anything loose or you know I don't know so I'm gonna put it back together and put it, plug it in so I get some power to it and see what it does Okay, I got the case all put back together, even put these back on, because once I lift that sucker back in there, <clears throat> I don't want to take it back out if it works. So I put it all back together, complete. Um, I'll tell you right now, because I have to squat down, pick this up and kind of squat down to put it in there. I'm going to go to the bathroom first, because it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of heavy. So anyway, we're going to throw that back in, that, in the rack, hook it back up and see if we got any, if we cleared the alarms or not. If not... We'll have to take it back out and wait for tech support to send us the uh, whatever we need. All right, we got our hook back up to power. Power it on, see what happens. I remember it's totally dead. <laughs> that fixed it. Oh, nope, nope, it didn't. <laughs> so let's see what we got up here. Analog status, temperature, T1 is minus 30 Celsius. So to give it a reset. One, two, three. Yeah, it's it's a not good. So that means it's not charging anything. It's not doing nothing. But T1, thirty-seven percent. Oops. 
It says no failures. Oh, it's kicking back in now. Cleared the alarm. Must have been doing a self-test. So now it's charging. Just like the rest of them. So maybe I did fix it. If we go back and look at our... Oops. Look at our temperature now. See what it says. Yeah, now we're back to normal. I mean, it's not completely normal. I don't know. So that little white thing wasn't quite plugged in all the way. It clicked in. Let's see how long that runs, I guess. So far, I've been really happy with the Sun Gold stuff. Um, when I ordered this package, they I had to wait extra long because these batteries were sold out and they were making them. So I could see them maybe get in a hurry and not pushing... I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, so far I've been pretty happy with them, and TechSport got right back to me when I contact whenever I have contacted them. And like I said, we have a we got a big system. We got five of these batteries. We have four of the charge controllers and the eighteen hundred. Right now it's charging off the house because the sun's not really out yet. It's cloudy out. Um, so I think I'll just let it charge. At least halfway before I turn the AC power off. That's one thing with this, guys. If this is charging, you can come over to the panel. That 100 amp breaker right there is what's charging this. The AC into this for the remote or the onboard charger. I can turn that off, that breaker off, and kill this commercial power. And then it'll, it'll use solar power until the batteries go dead again. And then it'll kick back on. So that's one way to save power if, if you know, this kicks on early in the morning before the sun comes up. You can let it charge for a little bit and then kick it off if you want to. But it means this one's barely got any charge on it. We'll, uh, we'll let it run like this for a while. Because I mean, a little bit of sun's out there now. It is producing some power. Yeah, that, that eight panels now is only producing 200 watts. But I mean, it's... 3.5 amps times 4, so we're producing maybe, right now, well, 4 amps, we're producing, you know, maybe 16 amps, but the house is using, well, it's bypass, so the house is actually using, oops, wrong one, the house is using 40 amps, so, so yeah, we'll leave that charging for a while. All right, it seems to be uh, doing all right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, any comments or questions, let me know. Hey there, guys. Just want to give an update on that battery. It's been three days since I um, did the work on the battery, put it back in, and it is now um, working great. I mean, it hasn't had an issue since I push that little white clip in that you know and I push that clip and it clicked and I said in the video and I think it actually fixed it because it's temperatures are all the same now it's it's been working just fine so just an update uh, thanks for watching give us a thumbs up uh, hit the share button whatever thanks guys